Gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I just want you to see something. I went to this particular website. Before we get into our conversation, the discussion that we're about to have, I just went to this particular website. I want y'all to pay attention. I'm doing the cookie thing. Cookies? Oh man, I love cookies. Cookies are so good, especially when you have ice cream, cake, pie, and milk. Oh God, that is so delicious. Yes, milk with ice cream. That's called a milkshake. <laughs> you just shake it up. Oh, you just add some cookies in and you have a cookie milkshake. Okay, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing this for about 10 minutes on just one site because these are the different things I want you to pay attention. Spot X Inc. Really? What the? F Yield Mo Inc. What the? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, guess what they're doing? These are all the contracts with the different organizations that are collecting data on anybody who visits Meta Media File. Okay, and you better believe the other ones are the same way. So that's why they are now having you click reject all. Remember, this is a data gathering nation. So you are always clicking on reject all. Do not sit up there and accept or just click on that X talking about I don't feel like answering those questions. You better reject it. Better take the time because if you don't take the time, they're going to take the time. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I received some bad news this morning. I woke up this morning, stumbled out of bed anyway. My baby takes the morning train. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, when I got up this morning, I received an email. My phone, I let it die last night. I was watching a movie and on my phone before I went to nighty night and I let the phone die. It was at 45%, but I said, I don't care if the phone died. And the phone says I'm dead. And I said, well, then you stay dead then. And it stayed dead until this morning when I put it on a charger and did it on a quick charger and it's not dead no more. Well, anyway, I received a message that says, hey, unfortunately, I have some bad news. Yeah. It says, I've been watching you through your camera system on your computer because I downloaded this virus on your computer that gives me control and access to your cameras on your computer and on your other devices. And I also have access to your email. And I done looked up all of your contact people's and information. And I'm going to let everybody know what you've been doing. You've been watching some monographies. And because you've been watching some monographies, mammograms, that type of monography? No, no, the pornographies. That's what you've been watching. I said to myself, have you been watching some monographies while you've been asleep that'd be a shame how you be watching that while you asleep you i don't think you turn on the tv while you asleep we're gonna have to videotape you while you asleep to make sure you ain't doing that but then i said to myself don't worry about itself i don't know who this guy is he said if i didn't give him 1700 dollars, he was gonna publish that to all my families my friends my associates and wait 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 for it colleagues oh yes he used the word colleagues First of all, ladies and gentlemen, all of the cameras on all of my systems have tape over them. And if you have a system that can read through that tape, you are good. And in my past, oh God, uh, oh man, a whole lot of that stuff is what I watched. But that ain't the man today. Now, if somebody was to do something like that, apparently they think that this guy <laughs> cares about his <laughs> reputation whatever the only reputation I care about is me keeping my word I don't care if you ruin my reputation I've already done that I've already ruined my own reputation nobody else can ruin it worse than what I did so go ahead extort me no I'm the wrong person to extort I will never pay you a dime I'm worse than the United States you know how the United States does not negotiate with terrorists well that's what I consider people like that to be terrorists and I'm sorry that so many people fall for that scheme that they have information and if they don't do this do that they're going to reveal their private information ladies and gentlemen the scriptures already make it quite clear that anything hidden will be uncovered anything so once you understand that then you can prepare yourself that all of your secrets 
are already known. There is no secrets. You don't have any secrets. If you believe, see, confirm choices. That's just for here. Now what I'm downloading is I need my codes for my antivirus and somebody's gonna share that with me. Okay, that that's all I'm doing. Really? How did we get here? Wait, hold on. Got to got to move this to make sure it. Oh, stop it! I didn't ask for that. I got to make sure it downloaded. So give it one second. Give it one second, y'alls. Well, anyway, that's what the individual sent me. And shame on that moron for thinking that this was the person to send it to. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something else I'm finding that I, it's it's very disturbing to me. Okay, you guys mind? Doggy Fresh in the Get Fresh Crew played this only at night, 1986. I tell you that song right there. And the Get Fresh Crew. Let me tell you something. Doggy Fresh and the Get Fresh Crew. Um, this played only at night. If y'all ain't heard it, we're going to hear it today, okay? Because I got something I need to talk to y'all about, okay? We're not gonna play it too loud. We're gonna keep Dougie down. Y'all, y'all gonna, y'all gonna be all right with it, okay? Let me, let me show y'all something, cause I, I gotta show y'all something. This is the link that's underneath every video, okay? Underneath every video, the people who said, "Well, I gotta get to the site," so we put the link for the site underneath each video that are being published online. Ladies and gentlemen, Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh Crew played this only at night I can tell you I was in New Mexico and I was in Berlin at the Berlin the county of Berlin library because I didn't have internet at my house because I was off grid and the speed was so slow so I'd go to the library and man I download everything there because they they didn't they didn't restrict their speed until they realized that man he's downloading hundreds of gigabytes worth of stuff you know Hey, movies, programs, everything. I was doing all kinds of downloading. And so they eventually changed it and limited people. But hold on. Make sure you all understand something. I was playing this song in my car. And I, man, I had speakers, sounds in my car. And this is how I would drive home. And I remember a guy coming, man, who sings that? And I told him, Dougie Fresh. Oh man, that's all right. That song's all right. It's just a beat for the most part, ladies and gentlemen. But it's so unique that it's always stuck with me too. And this was 1986. I want you all to pay attention. 1986. Okay, we're almost 40 years since this song came out. Okay, that's the impact this song has had on me. So, and it's just a beat. Play this only at night. That's all he says. I mean, ancient orbs worth more than gold cannot be bought, cannot be sold. Okay, it's a simple song. It's just the way they did it. Hey, now let's have our conversation. Dougie, I'm not going to be able to let you talk, homie. I just want to tell the people one more thing and then I'm going to have to cut you off, all right, Doug? Ladies and gentlemen, you see right here, it says to get in touch with Eon, email eonv3 at gmail. Okay, why are you people emailing eon at eon.tv? I'm going to tell you all that you need to stop. Okay, you're not just going to get yelled at, but I will block you from communicating with any one of the companies. Eon at eon.tv is only for the consults. That's it an official company business between the employees and myself. You guys have no business contacting me through this email address. It's my address. This is my channel. I own this. So stop, please. This right here, this is where everybody communicates. I get 200 emails a day, at least, and I go through each and every one of them. You don't get a response from me, it's because I don't want to respond to you. <laughs> that's not true. Yes, it is. Or I don't have time. But that's my choice. Okay? Mine. 
Okay, I'm so glad we got that out of the way. Let me go ahead and uh, pause Dougie because Dougie, you know, he my homie. And let me, um, it's about time that finished. Dougie, I gotta find you. There he is right there. That's Dougie, y'all. Dougie Fresh! He don't look like that no more, y'all. Okay. Dougie Fresh! Dougie, hold on. Oh, oh, ancient orbs worth more than gold. Could not be bought, could not be sold, could not be pushed, could not be lift. And I'm telling you, we got a whole lot to deal with. What? What's my song? But now you curse. He didn't curse in this song. And the whole universe is filled with gray. No rights. Disrespect is the way of life. You want to go say no. Don't need no airfare. Oh, pay, 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 pay attention. When he said don't need no airfare, he's talking about the plane. So high, so high on the plane. He did a song called The Plane. Don't need no airfare. Just close your eyes and then you're there. Come right and exact. Because remember, there's no way back. So close your eyes and disguise and all those lies. You never had stars in your eyes. This is your destiny. Rise, rise. And that's Play, it so, play This Only at Night, ladies and gentlemen, by Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh Crew, Barry B. Chill Will. Okay, sorry. Um, yes, I was a person who listened to Dougie Fresh. I like his music. I like the fact that he called himself the greatest entertainer. I like the fact that he was him as a artist. Don't care about his personal life. I don't care. His personal life has nothing to do with me. Now, we need to talk. So let me make sure we close everything. Hey, Pete! Hey, Cock! Peacocks! Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, I see you guys got eyes all around you, huh? Yeah, you trying to be like them wills in Ezekiel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk. And so I don't have you on my headset, which is a good thing because I'm going to start using the speaker system. Uh, I, I know it's a little loud at times because I'm a little loud, but it works. Oh, better for me. I just stood up, and that's me stretching. Can't do it too much because of the shoulder pain. I get to go have an MRI done on my shoulder. Uh, many of you know that a year ago I fell while getting into a hammock, a brand new hammock, that had a defect in it. And when I fell getting into the hammock, I literally fell on my right elbow and buttocks. And have been in pain ever since. Not on my buttocks, but on my right shoulder. I have muscular dystrophy. The shoulder joints, the hip joints, the ankle joints are the ones that go, give way. A lot of pain. They refer to it as arthritis. It's not arthritis. It's a decaying of the joints. The cartilage. Okay? So... We're going to be taking an MRI. Now, oh, they're going to pay for an MRI? You better believe the insurance, my insurance is going to pay for an MRI, and they're going to reimburse me, not my insurance company. You see, I have insurance. That's my money. It doesn't belong to the insurance company. They don't reimburse the insurance company. That's my money. Do you understand? So they're going to reimburse me. They're not going to reimburse the insurance company. I'm responsible for that. That's all it is. That's why I filed the claim. I'm filing the claim because I am out. Not the insurance company. Ladies and gentlemen, when you pay the insurance company, that's your money. They're betting against the fact that you're going to get injured. That's why they have to accept you as a client. You have a contract with them. But this insurance company, I don't have a contract to repay them for reimbursement of any injury okay just thought I'd explain a little bit of that ladies and gentlemen I just did a video and the video was talking about bills of exchange 
Your mama knows you can do a bill of exchange. Your daddy knows you can do a bill of exchange. Everybody knows you can do a bill of, pay attention, exchange. It's a medium of exchange. Because it's a medium of exchange, it's currency. A bill of exchange is currency. So let's put it to the test, shall we? Hey, Doug, I'm coming to your site. Let's type this in. A bill of X C H A N G E is bill of exchange is currency. A bill of exchange is currency. Bill of exchange. What is a bill of exchange? A bill of exchange is a written order used primarily in international trade that binds one party to pay a fixed sum of money to another party on demand or at a predetermined date. A bill of exchange. What are bills of exchange? What is a bill of exchange example? What is, what, which of the following is a bill of exchange? Is trade bill a bill of exchange? Who uses bills of exchange? We don't care who uses bills of exchange. And that's not the thing. What you need to know is bills of exchange are still legal. <laughs> okay. Now, hold on. It says that needs to be paid. That's not true. So I want you to do this. Bill of exchange. And it's 1866. Oh, 1882. I thought for sure. Oh, 1864. Bill of exchange, Act 34, 1864. This is a South African government. This ain't the one. This, this ain't the one. Oh, but you notice this? Everybody has a bill of exchange act. Let's see the one for the USA. No, not we don't want the bill of exchange act 1964. Uh-uh. We don't want the bill of exchange act 1966. Oh, you know what? They're absolutely right. I'm I stand corrected, ladies and gentlemen. I stand corrected. The Bill of Exchange Act for the United States was 1934. Why? Because a Bill of Exchange is a security. What? You guys? Wait. Aw. No, not possible. Y'all are going to tell me that y'all didn't know a Bill of Exchange was a security? Wait, hold on. We're going to get back to uh, 12 U.S.C. 361. We're going to get back to that. The Bill of Exchange is still legal. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Bill of Exchange is a S E C U R I T Y. Bill of Exchange is a security. Interesting. Let's see if we can pull this up. May not be able to pull it up here. Okay, let's pull it up the right way. We're going to go here. Case text. Because this is what I'm meaning to show you guys. We're going to go down to that one in a minute. I uh, don't care about bill of exchange being legal tender at all. Don't care about Federal Reserve notes. Federal Reserve notes. Okay. They are as good as tender. What is good as tender? Bank notes. Unless specifically objected to, the Lord of Mansford observed. So, unless specifically objected to. Okay. When they are received as payment, the receipt is always given for them as money. Say what? My bad. See, hold on. They are not like bills of exchange considered as mere securities or documents of debts. So bills of exchange are mere securities. Just that simple. Okay, watch this. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh oh, don't want to go that far down. I gotta copy this and the only way to do that is to do it this way. Gotta go outside the box. Oh, come on, dude. Copy. And then when we go outside the box, we have to create another box. Y'all don't mind if I create another box? That's the box that I was creating. So we created two boxes. So let's do that and that. Hey. Let's do, oh, I see. Let's do that. 
and that. And let's see what we get, shall we? A lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about here because they simply don't get it. Now, see, these are two of the same cases. I, they're probably the same name, state versus... No, they're the same information. The court copied themselves. That's how they do their so-called common law, is their so-called precedents. Clearly, they do not constitute letters of credit negotiable documents of title, chattel paper, or goods, nor do they constitute instruments since they are not negotiable and are not paper evidence of debt normally transferred by negotiations. Aww, but you didn't tell me what you're talking about. Okay, we're talking about bills of exchange. It says, the warrants by themselves furnish no grounds of recovery. They are neither bills of exchange nor promissory notes. Okay? So, because the law still allows you, it is, however, not like bills of exchange or promissory notes, absolute in its negotiability. Pay attention. A bill of lading stands for goods themselves. It is, however, not like bills of exchange or promissory note, absolute in its negotiability. Really? Really? A bill of exchange is absolute in its negotiability? They are not like exchequer bills or government securities, which are made negotiable either for circulation or to find a market. Ladies and gentlemen, bills of exchange are still being used, and bills of exchange can be used to pay a debt. Just that simple. There, there is no way around it. We're, we're going to talk about the, the main elephant in the room. Now, I believe this is talking about bills of exchange, but they went a long way in talking about it. You see right here? So let's read this. They are not negotiable in form. They represent no debt and are not securities for money. So this is not talking about bills of exchange. This is talking about certificates of stocks. And business corporations are embraced as a class in the class last mentioned. What's the class? Ladies and gentlemen, this is FedEx. I have to take this. I'll get with you in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, about two hours have passed by since the last time I put y'all on hold. Been doing a lot of things, and so let's just go ahead and take care of this paragraph right here. To conform to the uses of merchants and the necessities of commerce, this otherwise substantially inflexible rule is, during the passage of time, to some extent relaxed by the aid of statutes and judicial decisions in respects to bills of exchange and promissory notes, and these came to have distinct attributes and qualities not pertaining to any other form of contract. They were not only made transferable by delivery and suable in the same of a transferee, but contrary to the general rule of common law, honest acquisition for value was held to give to the transferee a new and original title wholly independent of their prior holder and subject to no infirmity which affected the paper in his hand the real owner the holder in due course who had been despoiled of the paper by robbery or theft and who had lost it without negligence was concluded from reclaiming it Aww. And the maker, although he had been defrauded in ex executing it, could not be heard to allege the fraud as a defense against a bona fide holder. And the transferee, although he may have been negligent in taking it and omitted precautions which the prudent man would not have taken, nevertheless, unless he acted malfida in malice, Title, his title, accordance to the doctrine now settled, will prevail. Holder in due course. He's the holder of the instrument. That's basically what it's saying. They're not negotiable in form. They represent no debt and are not securities for money. This is bank stock. But not the same. Pay attention. Not the same as a bill of exchange. Whew, so glad we got this out of the, 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 the wax. 
They are not negotiable in form and represent no debt and no securities for money. Again, certificates, business stocks, corporate stocks. But bills of exchange, different at venue. Different at instruments. Okay, bills of exchange are not letters of credit. Bills of exchange are not letters of credit. Bills of exchange are not letters of credit. That's speaking about letters of credit. And I don't know why it's speaking about letters of credit, because we're talking about bills of exchange. The courts have consistently found that similar bills of exchange, notes, and letters of credit supposedly drawn on the treasury. See, supposedly drawn on the treasury. Don't draw them on the treasury, ladies and gentlemen. They say they're worthless pieces of paper. Actually, not true. But that's what the court said. See, they say, see, bogus site drafts, bills of exchange drawn on the treasury, available online at the treasury direct dot 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 He's incarcerated because he did a bill of exchange with the treasury information on it, treasury routing number on it. Now, technically, can you do that? Of course you can, because you have an account with the treasury. Can you prove you have an account with the treasury? If you had a social security account, you could. All you got to do is get a copy of the, what is that? Uh, the receipt for the wire transfer. It'll give the treasury information. Remember, the money comes from the treasury. Can you prove you have a treasury account? Yes, the treasury took the gold back in 1933 and transferred the gold. Okay, so because the treasury did that, the treasury had to give you a receipt. Of course I have an account with the treasury. They took my gold. Of course I have an account with the treasury. So if I don't have an account with the treasury, then you haven't given back my money. Okay, bonds and negotiable instruments are mere evidence of debt. So a bond is nothing but a bill of exchange, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it is. It's an exchangeable bill. That's why they talk about transferring so much. So, what I was trying to tell you guys, because it was important for you to know, the bills of exchange are still acceptable in law. Let's do this right here. We'll go here. Uh, okay, IRS I put IRM because I needed the Internal Revenue Manual. We're going to hear, going to go, going to go here, going to go, going to go, going to go, going to go, going to go here. I believe it is this one. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. We're not in love anymore, baby. Okay. Things will never be the same again. Look, check our money order payments. Well, look at there. Looky there, look at there, look at there. Then they even got one for remittance. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would start here. This is telling you what bills are acceptable because as I said in the last previous video, if they're acceptable to the IRS, then they're not worthless pieces of paper. So let's do it. Uh, control F, B, I, L, L. Bill of exchange. No, this is not the right one then because I need bill of exchange, not bill of rights. No, this is the right one. It's just it does the bill of rights first. Let's see. We got six, so one, two, three. Nope, it ain't bill of rights. It ain't this one. So it can't be this one. Sorry, this is the wrong one. We got to go back. I did that before, didn't I? Clicked on number five when I should have clicked on, I don't think it's number three, but I think it is number three. So let's do it, shall we? And control F, and we got Bill already up here 24 times. So I believe this is the right one. See, there it is right there. 38, 4, 5, 1, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the first thing we do is we click on it and it takes us billing no don't need that bill bills are found no all bills deposited uh, counterfeit bills no treasury bills no oversized bills or bullion don't care about any of this stuff but i do care about this one right here so ladies and gentlemen if the irs accepts bills of exchange if the irs accepts ladies and gentlemen if the irs accepts bills of exchange the united states treasury accepts bills of exchange through the executive secretary of treasury secretary secretary office of the treasury if they accept bills of exchange then it means bills of exchange are still legal tender 
they're exchangeable. They're called bills of exchange. That means they're not worthless pieces of paper. Ta-da! Which is why the hour style money orders continue to work. Because they cannot not make them work. Now remember, they're bills of exchange. They do not have to be backed by funds in an account. It's simply a promise to pay. So what if I you if I if, 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 if I were you, I would go according to Title 12, Section 412. And I'd look at the bill of exchange portion of that act, and I'd attach an application, their application. Every one of these companies has an application. Watch this. We're gonna just type it in here. U S T R E A S U R O R Y A P P L I C A T I O E application dot PDF. Oh, farms of the treasury. The treasury got farms, ladies and gentlemen. Treasury got farms. The treasury got farms. They grow animals and chickens and crops and other stuff. The treasury got farms. <laughs> so every agency has an application for something, even if it's an application for employment. They have an application. Okay? So U.S. Treasury application for the future of money and payments, Treasury Department. What drives the Treasury? Reuse. Federal Reserve statistics release. Treasury service forms, but we don't need to be here. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. I'm going to go to the bottom. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Not seeing what I need to see. Oh. Let's do that right there. Uh, fiscal services, uh, charge of service form and the agreements you will need to set up and use. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the forms. This is forms and things you will set up and need to use. Okay. Services and access setup provides more details and guidance on the steps required to begin using the new service and modify current service and access. If you are unable to locate the form you seek, contact provides the comprehensive list of services and support contacts that you will need for assistance. If you are unable to locate the form related to the U.S. Savings Bond, please contact Minneapolis Treasury Retail Securities site. Ladies and gentlemen, Treasury Service Forms. Use the links below to access the forms and the agreement you will need to use to set up or use Treasury Services. So ladies and gentlemen, any of you guys using Treasury Services, here are the links collateral management and monitoring the cash management system settlement statement okay I will take a look at this you saw how I found it you saw what I was looking for when I found it okay 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 that's what I'm saying okay now accounting services oh look at that who does the accounting services is it not the Federal Reserve ah is this not the link the Federal Reserve Board gave me? Pay attention. Application! Sign in. FedLine Web, Reporting Central, Reserve Central, Survey, Term Deposit. So, let's do Reserve Central. This is their application, ladies and gentlemen. Reserve account administration secured login. Reserve Central. They give you all their little warnings, COVID and otherwise. Ladies and gentlemen. Reserve Central, dude. Authentication failed. How? What the? I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I got to figure out because it's my first time going to this site. See, it says application sign in. Application sign in. Why don't we go about getting set up first? 
So I'm going to click on sign in and see if it gives us one of those things where we can sign up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it even has learn more. So it said we can learn more. What if we don't want to learn no more? Well, then you're going to be stuck because you ain't going to go no place else. That's why I'm stuck because I can't go no further. Now, once you get started, Lending Central. Uh-oh. Lending Central. Hey, aren't we going for loans at Federal Reserve notes? Well, ain't this where we're supposed to be? Okay. All right. I can't tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. I have, see, collateral eligibility, getting started, borrowing, select your district, pledging collateral, paycheck protection program, liquidity facility, then business continuity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to suggest once you get started. Okay, did y'all start here? Okay, I believe this is where you need to be for starting your account with the Fed so that you can fill out an application for a loan. Look, they even have what they said right here, a credit program offered through the discount window. Offered through the discount, the, the discount, the, the, the discount, the, 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 the discount window. So, I keep telling people they are not hiding anything. Everything is right there. You just have to find it. Yeah, they made it so obscure and all over the place that you can't find it. But now that y'all have me on y'all side, y'all, like Jennifer Holiday. I'm on your side! Okay, now that y'all have me on your side, I can help y'all a little bit. This ain't my focus. I promise you, this ain't my focus. See, it even says borrowing. Introduction to borrowing. Okay, I would do some studying, people. And if you find something, let me know and I'll help you help everybody else because you can't do it by yourself. You'll be stuck. Just trust me. All right. I got to go, y'all. So y'all has a good day, has a good night, have a good memory. But I got a big gut bye. Adios. Arrivederci. Sayonara. I'll get some rest. Goodbye.